We've watched Christina Storm evolve from a fashion model into an actress and mother. Her beautiful bone structure may have catapulted her to success, but as she ages gracefully, it's her bone health she's concerned about. I have heard that women my age are prone to bone density problems and osteoporosis, and I need to find out if I'm one of those. Taking a trip to Mediclinic Santin, Christina will undergo a bone density scan used to predict the future risk for osteoporotic bone fractures. Morning, Doc. Good morning, Christina. How are you? Good in you. All right, thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, I believe uh, women my age are prone to osteoporosis and bone density problems. That's quite correct. As life expectancy has increased, degenerative bone disease is becoming a serious health risk. Anything that you shouldn't be eating or shouldn't be doing. We often stress that lifestyle is very important specifically because there are quite a few things that you can do naturally to help prevent and reduce your risk of progression. The onset of osteoporosis can be stilted through a healthy, balanced diet. You should aim to get 1,200 milligrams of calcium each day through diet and supplementation, and plenty of vitamin D through sun exposure. Osteoporosis is the thinning and loss of bone tissue over time. It occurs when the body fails to produce enough new bone, when the body reabsorbs too much old bone, or both. When it reaches a critical threshold, even straightforward body weight may actually be enough pressure to cause a crack or fracture in the bone. Okay, so why is poor bone health affecting mainly women? Specifically because there seems to be a very important hormonal and protective mechanism which is lost as women age. As women approach menopause, their bodies produce less estrogen, a hormone responsible for bone protection. In addition to aging, excessive exercise and stress can also reduce the amount of estrogen in the body. Hormone replacement is used to help prevent further bone loss and bone-related injuries. All right, Christine, here is your salmon. Let's talk about them. Basically, the scan's divided into three different sections. Two sets of scores are determined by comparing your results with the averages for healthy young women and people of the same age, gender, and race. The only area of concern that we have picked up in terms of your scan is your left hip. Now, that's basically this area here. If I were to show you on the skeleton, this is the area that we're really concerned about, and this is most likely to crack. So it is often at this stage that you need to do something very important with regards to improving your lifestyle and improving your calcium intake and reducing your cigarette smoking and reducing your alcohol consumption and doing weight-bearing exercises. These will tend to improve your bone mineral strength going through. Doc, can I take any supplements to improve my bone density? Supplementing calcium is actually recommended for most individuals. Consensus generally is you should be looking at doing about a thousand milligrams of calcium per day. Well, Doc, thank you very much for an interesting and shocking consultation. I'm going to go get myself a yogurt. Okay, clean bill of health from the doc, but let's just be safe. MediClinic. Expertise you can trust. Doctor